This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we've got a fun show today. Steve, Steve Smith, no, nope, not Steve Smith, the wide receiver for USC. Joe Smith, the uh, WBO light heavyweight champion. Uh, it's going to be dominant one-sided ninth round TKO over late replacement Steve Jeffard. Am I, am I saying that right? Um, it, it was... It was a performance. It, it was what it was. It, I don't think it was bad. You got some people saying it was good. You got some people saying it was bad. I'll give it a B. It was okay. It was it was all right. It's all right. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um. All right. Uh, yeah, the Cowboys took a terrible loss today. Horrible, horrible, horrible loss today. Uh, before we get into that, uh, well, let's get into this uh, Joe Smith um, performance. Okay, I give it a B. He jabbed well. Um, it, was, it was basic. Uh, but when you're basic and you have Joe Smith power, which is unique, um, you can do some things. Um, you know, Joe Smith has different pop, right? I mean, when he hits you, you can hear it. Like, there's a thud to his punches. Every, it, it, it's like the, the pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. Everything he throws is hard. Um, it was it was a pretty good performance. It was a a pretty good performance. Um, it was okay. Um, Jeffrey didn't offer much resistance. Jeffrey was a, a talented prospect at one point who started his career 0-2. Uh, and um, he, he, he signed by Golden Boy early on in his career. That didn't work out. He, he ran on 18 wins in a row. He got into this position. And he's just not in that, in that league. He's not a terrible fighter, but he's not a world-class fighter. And I got to tell you, it was interesting to see Joe Smith walk in as the champion. Right? You're so used to seeing Joe Smith, the underdog. Um, you know, Joe Smith walk in as the challenger. To see him um, walk in as the champ. Was a little strange. It's a little strange. Um, but he, he took care of business. Um on his way to an either knockout. Again, it, it was a basic performance. Uh he boxed him a little bit. He, he he was winning the battle of the jab. He was mixing in the right hand. He was throwing uh left hooks to the body. It was okay. There wasn't anything spectacular or next level about it. You know, but what's interesting is what comes next for Joe Smith. And, and that's really what I want to get into. Um I, I think he's got a big fight coming up next. I, I think there's two realistic options. Canelo, which you guys aren't going to like, um, or Better Beef, um, which I, I, look, I don't think he wins either fight, but they're both big money fights. And Joe Smith is a fun fighter. He, he gives you know, an entertaining show and he can sell at Madison Square Garden. I, I think we're going to get Canelo at Joe Smith. At Madison Square Garden, or better be versus Joe Smith at Madison Square Garden, you know, midway through the year, possibly in May. If it's Canelo's next fight, which I think it might be. I'm hearing reports that, and I don't know what this means. You're going to not like Canelo's next opponent. To me, I don't think it's Macabu. Charlo, you would like. Joe Smith, would you like? I don't think you would. Um, I mean, he's got absolutely nothing for Canelo. I mean, Joe Smith would have almost no chance against Canelo. Um, you know, I, I did a show. You can go back and listen. Charles is a much better boxer than Joe Smith, right? Like he's got way more skills. If, if he's gonna struggle, keep a cow off him. I understand Joe Smith is a, is a bigger hitter and he's naturally bigger. He's a light heavyweight where Charles is a middleweight, but it, it's gonna be the same thing. If he he can't keep him off with twelve rounds with the jab. Uh, Canelo's going to time him, slip him aside, and, and, and beat him up. I, I think Canelo stops Joe Smith late rounds. Uh, I, I just don't think Joe Smith can keep him off of him. The only question is, is Joe Smith big enough and durable enough where he can last? 
for 12 rounds. Because he can't win the fight, right? He's going to have to land something big. He's going to have to bait him into a right hand. But you don't see that with Joe. You see it more with Charlo. You don't see it with Joe Smith. Joe Smith is a very basic guy with a big punch. And he's mastered that. Like I'm not saying he's bad. He's mastered what he can do, but the ceiling is only so high. Right? He's a big, you know what I'm saying? He's not gonna at 32 years old though, he's not gonna become something that he's not. So what we see with Joe Smith now is what we're gonna get. That Joe Smith is not beating Canelo. And he gets hit too much. He's still getting hit. Um he's not gonna if he's gonna stop better be, he's gonna have to stand in with him, come forward, and it's gonna be two people, two you know, buses colliding. And, and Better Beef is the more skilled guy on the inside. He's more aggressive. He throws more. Although, Joe Smith's volume is okay. It's it's not bad. It's pretty good volume. Um, but Better Beef is a force. Like, an, an absolute force that's going to take your head off. That's just going to keep coming at you. Um, that's a fun fight. I hope we get that fight. I'm going to pick Better Beef because I think Better Beef is much better on the inside. I think Better Beef executes what he does a lot better than what Joe Smith executes what he does. And again, none of this is a knock on Joe Smith. Better Beef is a power for power guy, and Canelo's a, the number one guy in the sport. So saying Joe Smith doesn't beat these guys, it's not an insult on Joe Smith. Um, again, I give it a beat performance. I think Joe Smith is a good fighter. He's just not. You know, it was like when he- Jamel Herring for Shakur Stevenson. I like Jamel Herring. He's a good fighter. Is he going to beat Shakur Stevenson? Of course he's not going to beat Shakur Stevenson. You know, is Joe Smith a good fighter? Yeah, he's a good fighter. Is he going to beat Kel? Absolutely not. No shot. Is he going to be better beef? Uh, uh, a better shot? But still, no, he's not beating better beef. Better beef is, is a force. You know, so unless you think Joe Smith Jr. is going to become something, he's going to add all these gears to his game in his 30s. When he, you know, he, he's not fleet-footed. He's not quick-fisted. He doesn't have great volume. He's not any of these. So what do you think he's going to add? He's jab, right hand, left hook to the body. Jab, right hand, left hook to the body. Double jab, right hand. Captain Bianco is training. He's done a good job of getting him to this level. He's maximized Joe Smith, right? He took something very raw with a lot of talent, you know, with a lot of, I should say that, with a lot of natural ability, with a big shot, big frame, right? And he's made it, he's turned it into something really good. But there's a limit to it, and he's reached his limit. Um, and, and he's got to a world title. There's no insults. You can never, ever take that away from him. He got to a world title. Let's see how it goes. Um, I, I honestly think that either Canelo or Better Beef is next. I think Joe Smith gets a good payday. I think if it's Better Beef, it's a fun fight. He loses. I think if it's Canelo, he gets dominated. Um, I just don't think he's up to that kind of test. It's not an insult on him. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comment below. What did you think of Smith's performance? Did you see more than I did, which was just a you know high level basic performance, which he eventually got to stop. He wore him down, got his man out, an overmatched guy who probably shouldn't have been in a world title fight in the first place. But kudos to Jeffrey who fought himself into a world title fight at the start of the too. Screws to him. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 10 minutes a day. Please subscribe to the other channel as well. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.